morning all. It's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everyone out there. It's very weird because the time zones and I'm used to things being earlier. It's still strange. I don't think the jet lag has shifted fully just yet. But today it's primarily a Dragon Ball day. We were originally going to go and see the Broly movie today, but since we saw it last night, we are actually going to uh, go to the Sky Tree in Tokyo and go and have a look at the Dragon Ball Super Broly exhibit there. It's like with other things Dragon Ball as well, so we'll go and check it out. I'm also wearing the Team Four Star shirt today, um, just because I had it and I may as well just wear these clothes and you know represent the team. Forgive the throat thing, it's just something that my throat does in air-conditioned places. Also, I think I had a bit of a throat infection anyway. Maybe not an infection, but this is a bit gravelly or something like that. It'll go in a couple of days, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, just uh, get ready and we'll head out the door at just before 7 a.m. So we're at the Tokyo Sky Tree, and we're going to the Dragon Ball exhibit as well. We're going to check out the Dragon Ball store. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty hot. And hey, cool, it's round while we're here. And also, as you might not be able to tell, it's the 25th of December, as I might have actually explained earlier. But happy Christmas, can be said here, and we are always told at Tokyo Sky Tree to dream Christmas. And one thing about Japan, hot coffee in a bottle. I tried Boss Coffee yesterday and it was actually pretty good, so this is Tully's. Acceptable. Yo, Santa, how's it shaking? I am totally OP and ultimate. And with that, the Santa Saiyan thing is done. And what a better way, the Christmas thrown in front of the tree. At the Sky Tree, there is a special Dragon Ball Super Broly exhibition, and that's where we were going primarily. And there was a lot to see going up there, including a very big gift shop where I did buy a lot of things. I'll show you another time. This is nice. I mean, it's worth just coming at this time for it to be so quiet. So the reason, so coming earlier is even better. So we might be able to get our own lift up the sky tree. We can get up to crazy antics. Right as soon as you get in the lift, you are in a world of Dragon Ball, and as soon as you exit the lift, you've basically got Goku and Broly right in front of you, and Asagi, naturally, had to get stuck in the middle of it. Oh, interesting, okay, they actually give this form of Broly a name, the Almighty Saiyan. Interesting. <laughs> Yay, Raditz made the cut. Oh, how tough, Pai Pai. You can't escape this guy. So we managed to get some uh, little drinks that we we'll have, they're coming in a moment, but we also got these stickers, so okay, the first one is Freezer, Freezer, right there, he's number one. I wonder if it'll be Vegeta. I, I wonder if it will be uh, Broly. Oh no, oh, okay. Broly! And then uh, Freezer again. Oh. oh. Sagi, the disaster to uh, freezers. Well, I don't really like freezers, so I'll take Broly. <laughs> We've got the freezer desuboro so, uh, soda drink. Uh, when this is poured over this, it will all melt into it and it will just be a generic soda, but that's what it says. But I feel it's going to have some sort of strange flavour to it. We've got the uh, Son Goku orange soda flavour with, as you can see, he's pushing his little Kamehameha into the drink. I believe there's a scoop of ice cream. And we've got the Vegeta Blue Big Bang Soda, 
which it says is a pino flavour. So I'm guessing it's pineapple, although maybe not from the colour. Hmm. Either way. Well, they look great, so let's just get to drinking yeah. them. Down him. A pizza toast clock. What do you think the time is, Asagi? Uh, cheese past bread. We then found the Pokemon Center nearby, near Oshiagi Station, where we obviously had to go and look at all the cool Pokemons. And then there was another Dragon Ball exhibition chronicling all the different parts of Dragon Ball, where I kind of left my mark. And oh yeah, Christmas KFC, of course. So these are the ones that I fell in love with. They got this wonderful one, which is like a tree one, and they all stack on top of each other. So we'll see what I get them with those. I've got three of those, because they look really awesome. And then they have these little dioramas. So you could get Squirtle or Psyduck. Now, with my luck, I'll get Psyduck and um, Poliwag. Cubone and Sandshrew, so cute. Articuno, uh, Pikachu and Togepi, that would be awesome. Squirtle or Charizard. So to be honest, I'll be happy if I get anything bar Psyduck and Poliwag. But even then, that's quite cute. He's holding a little leaf, a little bit like Totoro in that picture. So that's quite cute. And then with these guys, you can get, I don't know what the star's called. I'm rubbish. Oh, Jirachi. Jirachi. Um, Rial's Hoot. Hmm? The Hoot Hoot? Hoot Hoot. Hoot yeah. Hoot. Uh, Togepi and some other little eggy things. Jigglypuff, Pikachu and Caterpie. Uh, there's that ghost Pikachu, Mimikyu, Eevee, and Charmander. So they're all really awesome. I've got Charizard. Wow. You've got Charizard? I think so. That's your favourite one of all. I know. And it is Charizard, although I'm having loads of problems putting it in properly. But hey, it's Charizard. So I'm super happy because that is definitely my choice of Pokemon when it comes to the original three. So I'm happy. So now we're going on to the trees. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got Eevee and her basket. That's so awesome. Okay, well, I'll show you when it's all put together. Um, and then in this box, Eevee in the basket. No, no, we can't get through those. Oh, no. Okay, last but not least, Eevee in a basket. Oh, my gosh. I have three Eevees in a basket. Oh, it's like the Pokemon Go event all over again. And then here is a little Eevee looking really, really cute. So that's really, really adorable. I'd have rather not had three of them, but hey ho. Well, I gotta admit that we did not expect to suddenly fall asleep like that. We had been up since half six. And then I think as soon as we got back here about half four, we just were waiting for Hasagi to come back. He got stuck at the laundrette for an hour and we then just collapsed, but you know, eventually we got up, we decided to get some dinner at a local place called Sukiya. It's a little fast food chain where you can get some gyudon and it was really good and really cheap as well. So if you ever find yourself in Tokyo, Sukiya, yeah, Sukiyas. Um, we're just having some snacks, just chilling out and we're going to have a bit of a nice long sleep because tomorrow we're off to Ghibli, but we, don't, we don't have to be there until noon. So Yay. yeah, you can at least just munch on some snacks and uh, thankfully he's got a sweet potato donut. Mm, do. Got myself a, an ice cream because I thought they're very Japanese and the way that it's boxed and packaged is really impressive. So I'll just have that. But until tomorrow, I'll sign off and thank you for watching today's vlog. Merry Christmas, if it's still Christmas. Merry Christmas. And once again, one is glad to be of service. <laughs>